part of what makes up our mental toughness is our will. And our will is um, it's the imposing of our desire that creates a behavior. So whatever's inside of us, it creates this, it's, it's um, I don't know, it's, it's called the burn. Your will creates this, this burn inside of you. You want something so bad, it'll create a, a behavior. And uh, so as you're developing this um, beginning stages of mental toughness and just starting to understand what it is, probably the first thing I'd watch out for, this is still under uh, point number one, first thing I'd watch out for is these negative attitudes develop um, a process where you start to look for the negative attitudes that trip you up, the, the thoughts that make you think things like, I'm not mentally tough. Well, I've just, I've never been that way. You know, my whole family's not been that way. You know, all, all of our family's broke. All of our family quits things. All this, all that. Yeah, but it's a skill that your family didn't learn or your friends didn't learn, but you can learn. So catch yourself when you're hearing those things and stop it. Well, you don't understand, Tim, nobody in my family has ever graduated college and we've never been in management or we've never owned our own business or, 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 or. stop. You've got to learn to catch yourself in that. Somebody's got to break the pattern. Now, how many stories have you ever read, biographies of people that didn't have a lot growing up, and then they made something out of themselves? You know, they mentioned that I'm a best-selling author. One of the stories I told in my book was a story of a nun that really um, inspired me, and I believe God uses as a... As a key person in my life to change the whole direction of where I was going and I drove into Flint yesterday to try to find her she was off for the holiday weekend but I just want to go and say hi to her and thank her and tell her again I've seen her since but um, since I, seventh grade was the first time I met her but I just wanted to tell her how much of a difference that she made in my life and how she helped me break that pattern because there were several matter of fact every other teacher told me the opposite of what she told me pretty much but I chose to listen to her. And even if you say, well, Tim, I don't have anybody encouraging me or helping me out. Well, listen to yourself. Just say the right things to yourself. Read the right books, listen to the right CDs, associate with the right people. And that will help you identify those attitudes that's preventing you from being mentally tough. So figure out a positive attitude to go in place of that negative attitude. And, uh, and learn, learn to say stop when they come in. So your willpower is... It's strong, and it will lead you to extraordinary things, or it can get you out of a terrible situation. And we all know of examples. You've heard of things, willpower. Probably the most famous one is the mom that got in a car accident, and her son was trapped in the car. Her leg was underneath the car, and this little mom, she only, I, this, it's, you know, these urban legends get so big. But I've actually read something online, so I know it was true about it. Well, this, so the story goes, this mom was 120 pounds, and she lifted up like a Honda Civic or something stuck on her kid, lifted the thing up. Now, it's physically impossible for her to do that, but her willpower enabled her to do that, you know? Or she was on steroids or something, we're not sure, but... <laughs> Through consistent testing and practice, you can get better at connecting with this willpower. We all have this willpower inside of us, and willpower is necessary to create mental toughness. And... To me, this is, I want to talk about this one first in the category of creating mental toughness because many people think that they don't have willpower. You do, but it's like a muscle. You have, to, you have to work at it, and you have to identify that everybody has it, and if yours isn't strong right now, it can be. I'll give you an example. Probably the most common one is, and, I, and I'm speaking from experience here, I love to eat. It's like a sport for me. But I know when I do too much of it. I did it yesterday. I went to a cookout yesterday, and uh, there were some, you know, some light salads and different things and rolls and all these. I didn't even go into that. Give me that brats. Oh, you got chili sauce, too. So I got brats with chili sauce on it. Well, guess what I was doing in the middle of the night? I woke up this morning. I'm all puffy, and I ate all this garbage yesterday. And I could say, well, I just didn't have strong willpower. Well, I didn't because I chose to. Because I know that in the past I've had strong willpower. And, and it's just, it's a pattern. How long do you let that willpower rule you before you rule with your willpower the things that you want to do? That's going to create mental toughness.